Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be doing a peacock feather design, so let's go ahead and start. First, use a base coat. I use Nail Teaks Formula 2. It's a nail strengthener, but it works great as a base coat for me. And then the color I'm going to use is Hard Candy Envy. I use two coats of it. It's a deep, rich green color. It almost looks black, black in certain lights, but it's really a pretty green. Then I'm going to be using a stamper and scraper from Cheeky as well as a nail art brush from Cheeky. Then starting with Queen Plate 9 and Mash Nail Art Polish and Black, I'm going to be doing a typical scraping it off, picking it up, and placing it just onto the pointer finger. You can see here it's hard to see and that's good because we're just going to use it kind of for a stencil so that we know where to fill in. So now we're going to use Maybelline Color Show in bold gold and we're going to start using those outer circles in gold leaving the centers open. We're going to fill those in in a bit. Then we're going to use China Glaze Unpredictable and we're going to just stamp right over the top of it using the same image, those peacock feather looks. And here the, the flash has sort of made it look gold but it'll look, you'll be able to see it a little better later. Now clean up around the cuticles using nail polish remover and an eyeshadow brush. Then China Glaze Secret Periwinkle. I'm going to use that brush again after cleaning it and filling in those gold circles. Then give it a minute to dry and then pick up Zoya Julianne. And f at the base of the periwinkle circles we're going to use that purple to kind of create the eye of the feather. Then I'm going to use Sesh Vite Top Coat to cover that right away to protect it so I can move on to the other nails. Now picking up the bold gold again, we're going to freehand to a feather on each of these two nails. So start with your gold circles. They're kind of oval and thicker at the top. Then go back to the China Glaze Periwinkle and fill them in just like you did on the stamped nail only now we're doing it freehand. Now pick up China Glaze Unpredictable again and start outlining the gold circles. Start to wisp it up and then create those kind of wispy feather tendrils <laughs> and create that feather so it's just peeking up from the corner. Then going back to Zoya Julianne you will create the base of the eye of the feather, just like you done on the stamped nail, only you just have one on each nail going in different directions. Now, picking up a glitter polish from Pure Ice, it's called Sheer Luck. It has some blue and purple diamond shaped glitters in it. I'm going to do one coat of glitter over the pinky nail to create an accent. Then, sesh feet over the whole thing, and you have your final look. The thumb we've gone ahead and left with just the envy on it because it makes a complete look that way. Each nail a little different. So there is the entire look. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Be sure to check out the description box for links to my Facebook page and you can find me on Instagram and all that Twitter, all that stuff. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.